and here are my full thoughts on the upcoming Looney Tunes minifigure series. Before this video starts, these images are from the Leaky minifigure on Instagram or Mythic Bricks on YouTube, so thanks to him. First up, we have Lola and Bugs Bunny. Lola looks pretty nice. She has a basketball as her accessory. Um, every single minifigure in this series, I'm pretty sure, has a new mold in for something. For Lola there, you have a new head mold, which looks pretty nice. Um, next up, I guess you have Bugs. Uh, he has a carrot for his accessory, and looks very similar to how he looks on Looney Tunes. Between the two, I do think that I like Bugs more, but probably because he is so iconic and recognizable from the Looney Tunes show. Next up, we have Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. Um, Wiley Coyote has an anvil for his accessory, and as you can see, has a new head mold. He looks pretty nice. Um, a lot of these head molds, to me, look a little odd in LEGO form, but overall I still think that a lot of these minifigures look fine. Um, then you have the Roadrunner. He uses the... A uh, wing torso piece, which has been used for a lot of chicken minifigures. He also, for his accessory, has a bowl of bird seed, and has a new tail mold as well as a new head mold and a new feather mold for the top of his head. Next up, we have Daffy Duck, who also is a pretty iconic character for Looney Tunes, so it's nice to see him here. He is a new head mold, which looks very nice. He's probably one of the best looking minifigures of this series. And for his accessory, he has a rabbit season sign, which was seen on the show. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like he may have dual molded legs, which is nice. And overall, I think he's a pretty nice figure. Next to him, we have Speedy Gonzalez. Um, I can't tell for sure but i think that he may have mid legs but besides that he does have a new head mold obviously and a new rat tail mold for his accessories he has three pieces of cheese that are printed those are pretty cool and overall both of these are very nice minifigures here we have tweety bird and sylvester the cat Tweety has a hammer for his accessory, and Sylvester has a bat. I think that these are both very nice minifigures. I think that Sylvester also, along with Daffy Duck, are probably the best looking and most accurate. Um, Tweety looks like he has short legs, and... Obviously, they both have a new head mold. So, here we have Porky and Petunia Pig. Petunia Pig has a teapot and teacup, which were first seen in the first Harry Potter minifigure series, I think. And, obviously, they both have new head molds. Um, Petunia Pig has a dress piece there. And may have dual molded arms. We ha we also have Porky Pig here. Um, he looks pretty nice. He's also a pretty iconic character from the Looney Tunes show. And I think that his accessory is probably the best in the entire series. Just because of how, I how iconic it is to Looney Tunes. The That's All Folks sign. That's a pretty cool print, and I'll be excited to see that. Last up, we have the Tasmanian Devil and Marvin the Martian. The Tasmanian Devil has uh, a pie and a chicken leg. 
He also seems to have a head mold that might come in front of his body, like how the SpongeBob head mold worked. Um, he also has a spinny kind of platform for him to stand on, which is really cool. And a tail piece, which might just be the same one from the video sets, but in a brown color. Marvin the Martian is the only one in the series who does not have a new head mold, but he does have a new helmet mold. He is also the only one in the series with a fabric piece, which in this case represents his skirt. I can tell here that he has mid legs, and with they have printed feet on the bottom, which are pretty cool. He also has a really nice face print that might be used for some weird looking minifigs for people. I'm also curious to see in when I get these whether or not the helmet is one piece or if the kind of brushed thing on the top is separate from the green part of the helmet. So overall these minifigures are all really cool and this may be the first minifigure series that I may actually consider buying the entire series of. It kind of does suck that there are only 12 minifigures in this series because there are a couple characters that I feel that are missing, such as Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. I, I, I guess it could be because of the guns that they both have, but... Lego does make cowboy guns and I'm sure could just use the musket piece for Elmer Fudd. But overall, of the 12 minifigures that we have here, I think that this series is going to be really cool and very popular. So that's it for my thoughts. What do you guys think? Comment down below.